what's that? That's 58 divided by 22 gives a value of 2.64. So it's approximately equal to 2.64. That's the variance, sample variance. Now, what about the sample? The sample standard deviation. Standard deviation. The sample standard deviation is straightforward as well. It's simply the square root of the variance. So S is the sum of the frequencies times the X minus the X bar squared divided by the sum of the frequencies minus one. And it's the square root of that. So we've already calculated this piece inside the root to be 2.64. So S must be equal to the square root of 2.64. And therefore we have S is equal to, let's get the square root of 2.64, 2.64. So we end up with, it's 1.62. So 1.62 rounded to two decimal places. So that's the sample variance done. So sample, sample variance is 2.64. Sample standard deviation is 1.62. What about if we wanted to calculate population values? Okay. So what about if we want to calculate the population? The population variance, population variance, well, the population variance is simply, no, let me just underline that there. So it's sigma squared is the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the mu squared divided by the sum of the frequencies, just divided by the sum of the frequencies. That's the population variance. Now, don't forget, x bar is the same as mu, it's three. So actually, this particular column here, if we were to do this for the population, these labels would actually be, this would be X minus mu, because it'd be the X value is minus three. And this would be X minus mu squared. And this column would be actually labeled uh, F times X minus mu squared. So it would be just a relabeling of the columns, yeah? Uh, we still end up with 58 for the sum of the frequencies times the X minus the population mean squared. And we still end up with 23 for the sum of the frequencies. So now what we end up with is sigma squared must be equal to the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the mu squared, which is 58, divided by the sum of the frequencies, which is 23, which now gives us, which gives us, well, what's that now? That gives us a value of so 58 divided by 23 gives us a value of 2.52. 2 .2. If we want to calculate, so this, the population variance is 2.52. If we want to calculate the population standard deviation, standard deviation, well, it's just the square root of the variance, okay? So it's sigma is the sum of the f's times the x minus the mu squared divided by the sum of the f's, and it's the square root of that. So we'd end up with sigma is the square root of 2.52, okay? Which gives us, well, the square root of 2.52 is a value of, it's a value of uh, 1.59, 1.59, okay? And that would be the population standard deviation done. That'd be the population standard deviation. So the only difference between, well, first of all, context is important, whether we're dealing with sample data or whether, whether we're dealing with population data. But the only difference between the, the calculation of the variance is the denominator, okay? In the sample case, we reduce it by one. In the population case, it's just the total sum of frequencies. Okay? So the sample size is effectively reduced by one. And you can see the difference here is the population variance is 2.52, where the sample variance is 2.64. Okay? The population standard deviation is 1.59, where the sample, sample standard deviation is 1.62. So what this is saying really here is this, is don't forget, when you have the population data, okay, and when you calculate these particular values, you know with 100% certainty, yeah, that this is the actual variation within the data set from a variance perspective. And that this is the standard deviation within the data set because it's all the population data that you have at hand. Now, when you take a sample, because you haven't taken all the values from the population, you can see that we've introduced some uncertainty. There's more variation in the sample here, okay? Uh, there's more variation in the sample from a standard deviation perspective. This is bigger than this. This is bigger than this, okay? which is what we'd expect. We'd expect there to be more uncertainty, more, well, uncertainty is probably the wrong word to use, and more error, let's say, in relation to our, in relation to our measurements. Okay, guys, uh, there's my dog barking downstairs, so excuse that, please. Uh, okay, guys, so once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats. Uh, this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with discrete frequency distributions and the calculation of the variance and standard deviation. 
I hope that this video was intuitive and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.